While the Miami Dolphins find themselves in the playoff race, they still look to add elite talent in the draft. The Dolphins entered the season with fewer options out wide thanks to the withdrawals of Alan Hearns and Albert Wilson, both of whom are still under contract in 2021. This season has demonstrated that depth at the position is crucial to the team's long-term success, especially with such a talented young quarterback now at the helm, and GM Chris Greer, along with head coach Brian Flores, must look at adding a top receiver in next year's draft. There will be plenty of intrigue over former LSU receiver Jamar Chase Chase decided to withdraw from the 2020 season and focus on entering the NFL draft in 2021, so it's unclear of how much rust there would be for the Harvey, Louisiana native, who undoubtedly would be the first receiver selected had he continued to put up numbers anywhere close to his sophomore year. While he is still likely to be viewed as a first-round talent, the Miami Dolphins might be better served to target a player that is a proven ball hawk, with 2,767 combined receiving yards and 31 combined touchdowns over the past two seasons. Standing at 6 foot 1, 175 pounds, Devona Smith he played alongside Tungavailoa many times over his four-year college career and will enter the NFL draft as arguably the second-best prospect at the position if Chase is selected first. Giving Tungavailoa a familiar target, alongside Parker, Ford, Jasicki and the returning Hearns and Wilson, will go a long way to building depth and quality on the offensive side of the field, with the Dolphins largely carving out victories thanks to stout defensive efforts. While the offensive line will still be a top priority, the Dolphins have two first-round picks in the 2021 draft, and using one of them on a player such as Devona Smith to bolster their receiving options and help Tungavailoa take the next step will be something that requires some serious consideration.